What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.2 beta 3 to registered developers exactly two weeks after the release of beta 2. Now along with iOS 14.2 beta 3, we also got iPadOS 14.2 beta 3, watchOS 7.1, beta 3 and tvOS 14.2 beta 3. Now these new betas should be out to public beta testers tomorrow and I will update the description down below when they have been released. And these beta updates came out after Apple's iPhone 12 event which happened earlier today. I was live during that so shout out to you if you were in the live stream earlier today. I did go live for a few hours and I will have a video coming later as well talking about what you need to know about the new iPhone 12 models before buying them. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, this video is all about iOS 14.2 beta three. And let's go ahead and check out the size of this update. So you can see it came in at 626.9 megabytes on my iPhone 11 pro. Of course, that size will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from. And if we check out the build number here, if we go to our settings, general about, you can see the build number for this update is 18B5072F. So we do have an F at the end of the build number there, which does indicate we are at least a couple of betas away from a final public release. And this goes along with my prediction from a few weeks ago where I said we won't see 14.2 until November. And it's looking like that's probably what's gonna happen. So let's take a look at the modem firmware here as well because we did get an update to that. So it was 2.01.01 .01, and now it's 2.02. 0.03, so a nice update there to the modem firmware. So if you were having any issues with cell connectivity, those could be solved in this latest beta. So now what's new here in iOS 14.2 beta three? And the first thing is something we've talked a lot about here on the channel. One of the first things I noticed with this update, and that was if we're playing a song and we go to the lock screen, before you would notice how we would not have the actual playtime for the song. So I'm gonna pull up beta two right here so you can see what I'm talking about if you're not familiar. So I'm just gonna play a song right here and then go to the lock screen. And if we go to that, you'll see that it doesn't show the beginning and end time. So you can see it kind of just shows where we're at in the song, but it doesn't show the beginning or the end. Well now, in beta three, that has been fixed. So you can see there the beginning and the end of the song. And when you press play, you can see how much time is left before the end of the song. And of course, how long the song has been going on for. So that was something that I originally complained about in the very first beta, and it seems that Apple has listened, and now we have that back on the lock screen. I don't think anybody liked the fact that that was gone in the first two betas. And that does also apply to the control center. So if you go ahead and have pick press on the control center, you'll see we do have the time remaining and the time elapsed there as well. And it's not just the you know part of the song you're on. Another thing I noticed in beta three is that the haptic feedback appears to be gone for the controls in the music application. So before, when you would tap on play, pause, or next or previous, you would get some haptic feedback, but now I don't feel it anymore here in beta three. So it was personally never a big deal to me. I never really cared about the haptic feedback. I know some people liked it, some people hated it, but it appears that Apple has taken that out at least for the time being here in beta three. Also inside of the home application, you'll now have access to the intercom feature, which was just announced today with the HomePod mini, but you can now see that inside of the home application as long as your HomePod is also updated to 14.2 beta three. And then some good news for WhatsApp users here in beta three, the media playback has now been fixed for the WhatsApp application. And then as far as the Shazam music recognition toggle, I've not noticed any improvements to this at all. And the timeout still seems to be about 10 seconds and I have not noticed any changes with it, but I will be monitoring this and letting you guys know if this feature has been improved at all here in beta three. And if you guys remember, there was never a timeout in the first beta and luckily Apple listened and added that in the second beta and it still seems to be the same length of time here in beta three. But once again, I'll let you guys know if that's been improved at all or if I notice any changes in my follow-up video coming most likely this weekend. And one thing I noticed after updating to 14.2 beta three is that my weather widget was completely blank until I tapped on it and it loaded in the data. So it was completely blank and it looks like a lot of users are having this as well in beta three. So that's likely just a small minor bug that will be fixed in the next beta, but I did wanna go ahead and mention that. Now also, if you guys remember in my beta two video or my beta two follow-up video, I mentioned how the copy paste little drop down menu was bugged out. So if we go into Safari here to paste this, 
you'll see that that has been fixed. So now we don't have an issue with the bubble up there. It's not misaligned like it was in beta two. Also, some people had a bug where in the bottom right hand corner of your now playing, it would show the wrong icon. So hopefully that's been fixed here in beta three for a lot of you guys. I know a lot of people had issues with Shazam. So like they'd be showing or they'd be playing rather a Shazam song and it would show either the music icon there or it would show like a different icon that wasn't Shazam. So I know a lot of people had issues with that icon not lining up to exactly what application is playing that music. I've never had this issue personally. I never had this bug, but I have seen it a lot. So if you did have that, let me know if beta three fixed it for you. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance feels really good. It feels about the same as beta two to me. I really never had any issues with performance in iOS 14.2, even beta one was pretty stable. I mean, especially for a first beta, I never really had any major issues. I never had any crashes, any random reboots, anything like that. I did have some keyboard lag and a few things here or there, but never anything really major. And it seems like that continues here with beta three. And of course it does feel like it is getting a little bit more polished and you know fixing a lot more bugs and things like that which is nice but i don't really notice a huge difference in terms of just raw overall speed and if we go into the geekbench scores here you'll see the history i did run a geekbench after installing beta 3 and we got a 1334 on the single compared to 1335 so just one point lower than beta 2 but as far as the multi-core we got a 3569 versus a 3518 from beta two. And if you guys compare it to beta one, you can see both of those are massive improvements over beta one. So we had a 3352 jumped up to a 3518 and then to a 3569. So you can clearly see progression here in terms of performance with 14.2, which is really nice. And that's kind of expected, especially when we're on a two week cycle right now. So the performance should be solid here in 14.2 beta three. You might have issues with things like blank widgets because I did have that issue with the weather application here. And if you're having issues with widgets that are third party widgets, that's probably just an issue with that third party widget. I've seen a lot of people talk about this, like widget Smith and you know, color widgets and things like that. If you're having issues with those widgets, it's probably not just the iOS version's fault. I mean, that's probably an issue with, uh, it's kind of a combination issue, but I would mainly blame the developers of the applications before I blame iOS. Now, as far as the battery life goes, battery life is probably gonna be exactly the same as beta two, I would imagine. It could be slightly better. Of course, we do have better performance, so who knows? I have not had enough time to mess with it yet. I've not had enough time to play around with it and actually use it for a full day. So I will let you guys know in my follow-up video if I notice any type of improvement to the battery life here in beta three, but I would not get my hopes up. I would not update just for a battery life improvement because it's likely not going to be anything major. So that's pretty much it for iOS 14.2 beta three, really not too much going on, just some minor improvements, some performance improvements, and you know, getting the addition of the time remaining and the time elapsed here on the now playing is nice on the lock screen and in the platter right here. So really just a lot of minor changes here in beta three, that's kind of expected for a third beta. Now, when can we expect the fourth beta of iOS 14.2? So if we stick to a two week cycle, we will be seeing beta four on the 27th. However, if we switch over to a one week cycle, which is possible, we could see beta four on October 20th. Now this week, next week is the week of an iPhone launch. So the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, will be released on the 23rd. So it's possible to see a 14.2 beta, but I'd say it's probably more possible to see an iOS update, like a public iOS update. So we could see iOS 14.1 on the week of the 19th, or we could see a 14.1.1. Really nobody knows at this point. Apple is really confusing everybody. They're really throwing curveballs our way. We really don't know what to expect. It's much different than any other year. So I'm done trying to predict exact days for things anymore because Apple just literally does not stick to any kind of plan. So uh, we will see, but I would expect a fourth beta for sure of iOS 14.2. It's just a matter of if it's in one week or in two weeks. And once again, about iOS 14.1, that's even more confusing because today, Apple Apple actually pushed out iOS 14.1 and actually here on my iPhone 11, I have iOS 14.1 installed. So I'm going to go ahead and boot this up and show you guys that I do have 14.1 installed. But what's weird is that Apple actually pulled iOS 14.1 today. They pulled it from their site. I was able to download the IPSW file because they did not push out an OTA update and over the air update where you go into settings, general software update It never appeared in here, but it appeared as a download. Like you had to do it through your finder application. But as you see here on my iPhone 11, you can see I am currently on iOS 14.1. So 
it did get pulled so it's not like an official release just yet and it could be like a release just for the iphone 12s or you know maybe we'll see like a 14.1.1 instead of ios 14.1 honestly nobody knows at this point so we'll have to wait and see when we'll expect 14.1 but that could come as well within the next two weeks and we could even see ios 14.1 this week which would be strange but it is possible since apple did push it out today and then kind of took it back but after going through 14.1 i didn't really notice anything that much different i mean we do have the music recognition toggle like we have in 14.2 that's really the only thing i noticed so if we go to our settings control center you'll see that we have sound recognition actually that's not even it that's just the sound recognition so now that i think about it that we don't have anything new in 14.1 at least nothing that i've seen so of course in 14.2 we have the music recognition, which I got those two a little bit confused there. So if we go to control center, we have music recognition. So, okay, you guys heard a live little mess up there, but music recognition is not the same as sound recognition. I was thinking that for some reason. So 14.1, we really have nothing new. I mean, I looked through all the settings, I looked through everything and I didn't see anything. So that leads me to believe that this could actually possibly be a release just for the new iPhones and 14.1.1 may have the new features or something like that. So we'll have to wait and see. It is kind of confusing and I will update you guys, of course, on Twitter. And of course, I will make a video when I know anything. And of course, when 14.1 or 14.1.1, whatever it is, gets released, I will let you know here on the channel. Sorry for throwing so many numbers at you. It's probably super confusing for you even just to listen to. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 14.2 beta three. Let me know what you think about it. If you found anything else new in the software, let me know down in a comment below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe for a lot more content, including a new video on the iPhone 12s coming either later today or tomorrow. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.